jealous of him, like you said, and then mm -hmm. his crew trying to retaliate. But the fact that we're talking about that versus the music says a lot. Yeah. I, I think that he's kind of, to speak to what I was talking about when we talked about Rhapsody's album, he got to the point, I won't say it was easy, I know he worked hard, but it didn't look like that he was putting that much effort into it. And I feel like, it looks like that he thought that he would be able to maintain it. Mm -hmm. Well, bro, we need you to bring it. Like mm -hmm. these last singles, like you was in cruise control. Yep. And now you've been in cruise control so long, you can't cut it back on. Yeah. It feels like the moment is passed. Yeah, I don't disagree. Welcome to another episode of The Rundown. I'm your host, FIFA 24-7. I got Ken here with me, and I got Spike Luke from the On Deck TV podcast. Hey, Shout out to Spike. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, you got to big up the homies. Absolutely, You know what I'm man. saying? Absolutely. You gotta I appreciate that. I yeah, you always be in the fridge, but it's all good. <laughs> Eating up all the pig feet. Mm -hmm. So all today's homies. rundown is going to be interesting, to say the least. Mm. I'm here to curious yeah, to see yeah. what you got for us today. What you got on the docket? Hey man, hey, we still Before talking we Drake. Run it down. We are. Mm. We, we still talking Drake. Oh. Man, the man keep breaking records, man. But that's not where we started. We're starting here in Atlanta. I don't know if y'all know, but Little Baby was recently recording a music video, and his set got shot up. He 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 was somewhere in the city off of Urbana Street. Right. And all of a sudden. Note to self, don't be over there. Yeah, don't be over there. Yeah, avoid over there. Yeah, Street. Bro, avoid Herbrandon Street, bro. <laughs> yeah, don't be over there. Uh, however, can there were 30 bullets that were fired and three people got hit. Ooh. Nobody in critical or nothing like that. They should make it out. You know what I'm saying? Is this kind of the downfall of little baby? the lack of respect do you feel that this is clout chasing what do you feel that it is because we all would agree that little baby is on a decline mm. is this just like an exclamation point to that decline i mean i'm sure he will definitely hope the decline is in death that's not the decline type of decline no. you want to be nope. shot at like that like i don't know what he got going on bro but that's a uh, that's that's rough 30 30 bullets. Like, bro, uh-uh. So nobody's talking about dude like that. I mean, what are we talking about? We're talking about violence. We ain't mm -hmm. talking about music. Mm -mm. You know, so that's 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 not good. We we tried to review a little baby album. <sighs> you know, there was a disconnect there. But I don't know, man. I, I it, it almost feels like he ain't he is like he's there, but he's not. Mm. Like he never really like he climbed the hill, but he just couldn't couldn't mm -hmm. just like the little engine that could, and he just couldn't quite get over the hump do you feel that this kind of is the highlight or not a highlight but a low light of the decline of little baby yeah i think it speaks to where we view him now because we don't hear his night we ain't been talking about him at mm -hmm. all like none of the he's put singles out just none of them are stuck mm -hmm. and now the point that we talking about him is a shootout um i don't know if it has to do with lack of respect from what they're saying in the comments and what they put in the reports is, was it was two rivaling crews they wouldn't say that it was 4PF and whoever mm -hmm. else it may be. But it does speak to, I feel like, a disconnect that wasn't always there with him. Maybe he's too famous now. Maybe he got people that are jealous of him, like you said, and then mm -hmm. his crew trying to retaliate. But the fact that we're talking about that versus the music says a lot. To speak to what I was talking about when we talked about Rhapsody's album, he got to the point, I won't say it was easy, I know he worked hard, but it didn't look like that he was putting that much effort into it. And I feel like, it looks like that he thought that he would be able to maintain it. Mm -hmm. Well, bro, we need you to bring it. Like mm -hmm. these last singles, like you was in cruise control. Yep. And now you've been in cruise control so long, you can't cut it back on. Yeah. It feels like the moment is passed. Yeah, I don't disagree. Talking about um, where you went with it, I, and I was going to touch there, so I'm glad that you brought it there. The police that were on site, mm -hmm. um, you know, you can look this up. They were talking about how they're bringing their gang unit out there mm. um, to also investigate because obviously we know Atlanta, sometimes you masquerade music as some gang shit. You know what I'm saying? And we see Thug on trial right now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that was we know real. that. That's real. Huh? Yeah, I feel like that's real yeah. life. Yeah, him exactly. Trial. Exactly. So that could be a real thing. Obviously, you know, I'm not saying that baby is involved. We just we just know that his his set got shot up. Now, the way that his ops knew where he was was that a fan was live streaming, 
Mm. Drop the address mm. of where they mm. were at. They were uh, by Slapping Taco on Verbena Street. Their ops, you know, somebody saw. And that's how they were able to find it. Now, my question to y'all, and we'll move on after this, is should fans be live streaming whenever there are celebrities and or entertainers and dropping addresses and things of that nature? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you don't think it's going to be that dangerous. Right. Right, like you don't you don't expect little baby to have ops that's gonna come shoot up the video. You just a fan. You just there. You happy to be there. Want people to see it. Mm -hmm. So I think this too has to speak with him not being out on. I don't think he's on tour or doing a lot as being active. Probably these people that would be on tour with him going to different mm -hmm. cities, they wouldn't be as involved in the city life, which causes these type of beefs, the jealousies. Like I just think that they may be around too much. But but let's look at some other people like Pop Smoke. You know what I'm saying? Like, like sometimes I and, and and I'm assuming here, but I think I have a really good assumption here, where if you're that level of celebrity, you don't necessarily want the end everybody to know where you are mm -hmm. because these type of things can happen. P and B rock. You know what I'm saying? Like we see this time and time again, right? Where Jim Jones said that being a rapper is the most dangerous career that you can have. I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that wholeheartedly, but it is a dangerous career. And I think that fans live streaming and placing your address, especially when we're talking about quote unquote hood type of artists, especially rappers. I don't think it's the smartest thing as a fan to do that. But we in a place Atlanta where we're gonna travel in the music scene. People know, like, for instance, when I first got down here, we were on a, a video set of Gucci Man shooting a video. Mm -hmm. oh, sure. We were invited by some. We were invited by somebody that knew us, and like we were just there around. We had mm -hmm. a camera or whatnot. But in the middle of it, midway through the video, a nigga came with a CTE shirt on. This mm -hmm. is when him and Jeezy was beefing. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know if Gucci Man seen it, but somebody <laughs> asked dude to leave. Mm. They like, they like. I think somebody was cool with both sides mm -hmm. or whatever it may be, and I was just kind of watching from the side. And somebody told dude like, like you can't, you can't yeah. be here, bro. Like, oh, and you got a CTE shirt yeah. on. Like, uh, -uh it's yeah. not gonna work. And they escorted him away. But just, I say that to say, he looked like he was involved in the music industry, knew what was going on, might have came on some slick or petty shit. But you able to find out in Atlanta even without the live stream. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But little baby fans, y'all still live streaming after this? Something wrong? <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. don't live stream this shit anymore. No, nah, don't live stream. Don't live stream. Especially again, if you know that they like a hood rapper that came from the trap, don't trap them in there. But staying in the South. Okay. Staying in the South. My favorite genre. <laughs> <laughs> staying in the South. Um, are you guys on board for a new Hot Boys album? And and when I talk about Hot Boys, I'm talking about Lil Wayne, Baby, Juvie. And I want to say Turk is involved. We'll, BG we'll see. too. BG as well. Like, are y'all like, are y'all here for that? And Manny Fresh. And Manny. Fresh. For me, it's more nostalgia than anything. Y'all uh -huh. know, but that the Hot Boys at first was one of my favorite albums in the history of albums. But uh, I don't know if it's gonna hit the same now. Like these niggas, they sound old. Like I listen to BG stuff. It, it sounds cool, <laughs> but it don't sound like it sounded when they was out originally. But I will be interested. I'm gonna check it out because I I never thought that this would happen with Wayne. Mm -hmm. I always figured if they did a reunion, they wouldn't be able to get Wayne. So the fact that we seen mm -hmm. Juvie commenting mm -hmm. that Wayne's been in the studio and it's been a collaborative thing. And he said he knocked out his shit in one day. He I said see. he ain't write nothing. Mm. That's, that's so 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 Juvie is just blown mind blown yeah. by by what what was transpiring. He didn't say it was good though. He did not. <laughs> but I, Ken, okay, so look, you know, we do D365, go subscribe, D365 reviews, and we did Gucci and BG, and we said that that was one of the most slept on Is projects. Is BG going to be on this project? Yeah, and BG sounded good. BG was good. That shit was Choppers and Bricks. Yeah. You, look, you heard Choppers and Bricks, Spike? I don't think I heard that. Oh, hey, you didn't listen to it, bro. Hey, I don't think I heard hey. it. You didn't listen to hey, it. You like that? That's the <laughs> yeah, southern you joint right there, bro. You you'll you'll mess with it. Up. Am I looking forward to absolutely not? Be a juvenile <laughs> could even, juvenile couldn't even get his headband right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he was on the video talking. About, I don't know what's going on with my headband. You know, so it's gonna. You know, he's they can probably that's sound. Out. That's when I cut it off. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm going to listen, uh -huh. of course. Uh -huh. But outside of BG, I haven't heard anything from Turk. So Turk may still got it. I don't know. I don't he know. Don't. I don't know. All we right. know Weezy still not. got it. We know not. BG. Weezy's hit or miss, bro. He's hit or miss. We liked him on Rhapsody. 
Yeah, that was a different different sound. Now reunited with with Manny Fresh. I was maybe. about to say that's yeah. going to be the key to this. If yeah. Manny Fresh can do some Manny Fresh type things because he's still mm-hmm. an amazing producer, and that's his bag being with the Hot Boys. It's just it's, how are they going to sound on? Yeah, right. Are well, they going to sound like Casey and JoJo? Have y'all heard, you heard no, no, Casey no, 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 and no. JoJo lately? Hey, hey, you know what we? <laughs> hey, next time. What, what's next the time topic. slipping away from me? <laughs> y'all remember? <laughs> no. <laughs> let, let, let me ask you about a, another potential project that you may or may not be excited for. I think I think we should be but uh lupe should be dropping his album june 28th it's called oh, yeah. samurai are you here for it yeah Kevin? yeah absolutely absolutely I, of, of course i'm here for lupe okay um why wouldn't i be you know we haven't seen a deterioration of skill with him no nah, not at all. you know the way we've seen with some of the other ones we were talking about um we've seen uh a guy improve his craftsmanship over the over the time you know um, so, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm here, definitely here for Lupe. It's been a minute, so it'll be good to hear something. What about you, Spike? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and the, <laughs> hey, Lupe is an amazing rapper. You're right, he has improved, but like, it, it get a little too deep for me, pause. <laughs> with, 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 with Lupe, like, he, I feel like he spends a lot of his time just trying to prove that he's an amazing rapper, and we know that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not as interesting to me as it's like a Rhapsody album. Like I just, it's just too rapidly rap. Gotcha. No, he's definitely a lyrical miracle. Yes. Definitely yes. lyrical miracle. But I tell you who's not lyrical miracle, and he's at the top of the billboard, mm-hmm. Gunna, one for one. Are y'all surprised that Gunna's album debuted at number one and it's still there? They probably was listening to see if you're going to tell something. <laughs> 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 like, well, shit, we going to see what else you got to say, bro? <laughs> nah, not really. I think his last album did well. We re- we reviewed it. With yeah, we room. reviewed it, and, yeah, and, and yeah. It, it was it was good. It was, it was, it was he, a surprise got, sleeper. Yeah, he, he got good reviews from Dead and Hip Hop. Yeah, which and is I haven't listened to the new ones, and well, Nick hasn't been. said anything about the nah, new ones. So mm. I have to hit him up because I'm sure he listened to it because he was speaking. High, he was speaking he highly about Gunna yeah. for you and I. Yeah, he said it was the number one album over that Killer Mike. Yeah, last year. He yeah, he was telling us actively telling us that that Gunna was better than that Killer Mike. Yeah, he he was talking that same talk. On, on the review, said, bro. Like, y- y'all go shit, check it bro. out. It's yeah. on the podcast feed. So I haven't listened to this one, and and Nick hasn't said a word. So I'm he gonna hit him up and see what he thinks are, before are, I listen to it. Spike, are you surprised that it's number one? Um, no, because all of that bullshit that people were talking about. Oh, he snitch. I'm never listening to him again. As soon as he put out that last album that was banging, and people like, well, for them it was banging for Gunner fans. People were right back on board. Like the the guy knows how to make good music. Like that's just the, the thing. He knows how to make good music, and people are gonna respond to it. That's what's missing. That's what's mm. missing. Yeah, like that 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 swag that Gunner's music had, Lil Baby's music is now lacking. Mm. So you think he was a writer? Mm. He cultivated some ideas. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay. The same. I feel like he probably was the same thing. That, um, what's the dude name to hang with Drake? Lil Yachty, is it Lil Yachty? Oh yeah, Lil Yachty. Same thing probably. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, talking about Drake, uh, he continues to set records. Obviously, you know, we've covered the whole beef with him and Kendrick, uh, but Drake just set a new milestone. He has 50 songs that have surpassed 500 million streams on Spotify. And and, and here's, the, here's the crazy part about that. The crazy part about that is that he has now more than doubled the next closest rapper. So before I go down that list of the other people that have 500 million streams on a particular song, are y'all surprised that Drake has 50 songs that have over 500 million streams? I had to ask a question before we get to that. Go ahead. Why is this dude Baka around? He has such a weird case. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, uh, no, I'm not surprised at that. Man, Drake mm-hmm. know how to make hits, bro. Like he's, it's never been a a mystery. That man knows mm-hmm. how to make hits. So this this is one another one of those. I call them like Drake stats. They create these stats. For I play. swear, to, thank. Like I don't even know where they even started thank tracking you. this shit before he said, "Hey, man, let's t- tell him I did this." Like get out of here, bro. Who <laughs> the fuck cares? <laughs> Ken, what is this? That's it, like it, the NBA. They just be making up shit, bro. It's not making up shit. It so. does. Like he probably went out and and paid a lot of money. 
to a stream farm to have him boost this so he can get back in the news for something. So he can okay, have good. So look, so look hey, uh, Ken Spiracy over thing. here. I'm going okay, I'm, I'm, I'm to go down bro. the list of the other artists that have 500 million streams on songs. Offset has 11 songs that have 500 million streams. I guess it means nothing. Um, this is wait, 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 listen, 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 <laughs> listen, listen, hold on, we, 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 we get, we get, we, we gonna hit some big names. I'm starting nothing. at the bottom. I ain't starting at the top. I'm starting at the bottom. The fact that I'll Cardi B, the, right? Cardi B has 12 songs. Future has 12 songs. Lil Wayne has 13 songs. 21 Savage has 13 songs. Doja Cat has 14 songs. So does Nicki Minaj. Juice World and Quavo both have 15. XXX Tantion has 17. Kendrick Lamar with 21 songs. Eminem, 22 songs. Kanye, 23. Travis Scott, 24. And then Drake with 50. So the next closest rapper is Travis Less Scott with 24. Yeah, this is he definitely paid some firm he had to, to think bro. of this and come up with it and put it in the news. Congratulations it's for not, having more not, streams it's than not, Cardi not B not offset <laughs> and take off. Right. It's but not not impressive, else. people, but it's just like, eh, who cares? Yeah, it's like you know big big deal. Well, I know who cares. Benny the Butcher. He definitely cares. Benny he's, the Butcher. He still wants that feature put out. He bro, I swear to God, that? he hates hey, it, bro. Hey, but, hey, when I saw, when I saw, Jesus. when I saw this headline, that song better be a that's hit. That's the boy. only thing that I could have thought of. I'm like, bro, you still want this Drake feature to come out? <laughs> and and if you're gonna stand in Drake's corner at this moment in time, that nigga gotta throw you the bone. He got to. He gotta man. throw you the bone. Come on, bro. But Benny the Butcher has praised Drake for pushing the culture forward. And that and that, <laughs> oh. and that, and that, that, that headline is as of today, Thursday, May twenty second. That is a a fresh a fresh take from Benny the Butcher. How do y'all feel about Benny still back in Drake? Right it's, now? It, it's it's giving off desperate. I'm sorry, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's giving off really desperate. Like Benny, you don't really need that feature that bad, bro. Like you. You're gonna get there where you're trying to go to. I, without more context to you saying him pushing the culture forward, I just I don't understand it. Not saying mm -hmm. that Drake's irrelevant that he hasn't done things for the culture that have been very impactful. Mm -hmm. But when we say push the culture forward, I would tell him to reference the Kendrick Lamar third verse on <laughs> Not Like Us. <laughs> I would reference that. So so let me give everybody a little bit of context. So Benny discussed um, Drake during an April appearance on Montreality. So this interview was a little Oh, bit and he was in Canada. Right. And he was in right. <laughs> it all made sense. Yeah, it's a, yeah. So, everything came so, together. So, so this interview was uh, during eight, was in April. He believes that those who hate on Drake for making radio songs are simply envious of his pen game. Quote, Drake is phenomenal. Niggas that hate on Drake, Drake's pen is jealous. Drake, that nigga, you know what I'm saying? He a, He's a fair nigga. He look out for dudes, give dudes verses and shit. He give you yours. He want to look out. He want, he he want to look out for him so bad, bro. He was like, man, I saw the stimulus package you did with Migos <laughs> and everybody else, bro. Here's the thing, though, Spike. Benny out of Griselda was my favorite. Yeah. I, 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 I rock was. Because, man, it's just like... I, I, he he needs the Drake feature because for Benny, his thing is he want to go mainstream. He's yep. been very open that's and public true. about that. Yep. Uh, that's all this is. So and that's what the moves are. Um, you know, to me, his best work is is nah. not that. But he's trying to get there, and he feels like he needs. You know, he he needs that. He needs that COVID boost, man. He needs that. <laughs> shot. He need that. Shot. Man got a family to raise. He's he like, I need them checks. Raise. I want them checks. I want these trying, checks he, right here now. Nah. Yeah, man. He trying to get out there. So I, I I get why he's trying to say it. Drake need new friends. He need yeah. friends, bro. Yeah. And uh and and Benny's right there. It's what helped yeah. Drake right now. The Drake, the Drake and Benny song that would kind of like that would take a lot of the load off of what's been happening. But what? But how would it impact Benny? Cause he'll Benny would definitely gain a lot of Drake friends, cause they they they, they loyal. Yeah, facts. so they that's why they're stands. They're not going anywhere. It's like Eminem people. I think I but. I think it depends on the song. I think if the song is a hit, it you know at, at this point it, it it'll still benefit Benny. It doesn't do anything for Drake outside of credibility. 
you know, obviously we Drake know that, 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 that Benny is a street rapper, mm -hmm. right? Like nobody's testing, you know, did you come from that? Like we know he did. But if that song is a certified hit, it definitely helps Benny. It it it, it helps Benny to execute the game plan. Like he want you said it 100%. Can I agree with you? He's the one out of Griselda that, that wants the commercial success. Yeah, he's trying to pull his Jay. He's he trying to pull the Jay. -Z he move, wants to be Jay. Bro. He's the Jay out the group, yeah. and he's gonna go at however to try to get there. And I think that if the Drake and Benny song is a certified smash, it helps Benny even today after the whole Kendrick thing. I, don't I think, think it helps. I don't think Benny has a, he got the bars musically. I don't think he got the personality yep. in the mainstream. Like when you said Jay Z, the, the first thing that I thought was Jay got a person. He funny. Like mm -hmm. he can make you like like the, the little things that Jay Z did to make it more palatable to the mainstream. I don't I don't see it in Benny. Like the music can be good enough, but I just he don't got the personality. Sure, I don't know if it'd be good enough. <laughs> yeah, our <laughs> mainstream records don't be hidden, they bro. Don't. They, yeah, they, they don't be they, hidden yeah, for Benny. They, bro. They, yeah, yeah, they don't, yeah, they don't, yeah. I, I don't rock with them. It's like I don't want to hear him on this. Like you say, missing something. It's like yeah, okay. Like when Jay did singles, it's like they made like Hard Knock Life made sense. Nigga, big pimping, big pimping made sense. Yeah. Even even his worst single, Chains Clothes, you still got it. Yeah, like he's like okay, I get. I'm not listening to that, but I get it. The yeah. Chains Clothes, the videos. Like cool. I, I listened to it when it when it was out. Fair, but like mm -hmm. when Benny do that, like you said, it don't sound. Yeah, like, yeah. It, it, it don't hit the same. But you know. I, I know what definitely did hit hit three people. Um, little little babies <laughs> video <laughs> shoot got shot oh up. Oh my god! I'm giving y'all the rundown real quick. Uh, little babies video shoot got shot up. Um, there's a new album by the Hot Boys, the original Hot Boys: Baby, Manny Fresh, Turk, BG, Little Wayne. Am I missing one? And Juvie. Lupe's new album is coming out June 28th. Are you here for it? Spike is not, but we are. Are you surprised Gunna's one one of one is number one on Billboard? I am just a little bit. Drake's still breaking records and Benny is backing Drake. That is your rundown. You already know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe to DE365 Reviews. The comment section is the conversation after the conversation. We out. Peace.